I'm Streeter Lecca. I'm a staff photographer for Getty Images. I've been doing sport and everything that comes with it for the last probably 10 years. Uh, I started um, by assisting for a guy and from then on I've been doing it. interns with Getty and now I've been on staff for almost six years. Me and a group of uh, other photographers, we hired a car to take us out to the Soweto area, which I had heard a lot about, but never been there, obviously. But we rolled up to a little area where there was a dirt field and, and a lot of children just kind of out playing uh, playing soccer. I took out um, a Mark IV body and the 16 to 35, and it was more like a one lens assignment for me, which I enjoy doing because it kind of keeps your eye fresh, because sometimes you see things and you want to just switch lenses, but I think it's nice to to change things up every once in a while and just take one lens and learn to shoot everything with that one lens and uh, and make kind of different pictures with it as well. So that day took it out of 16 to 35 and kind of stood further back with it, went a lot closer, but the fact of the matter is I didn't bring anything longer to where I would make myself just stand in one place. So it makes you think your way around uh, the pictures a little bit more, I feel. We have to get there probably four hours before the game to get kind of everything set up, get computers going, but also it gives us a real good chance to go out and shoot some feature stuff. I was walking through the back side of the stadium and I felt the light hit me and I had, we had been walking around there all morning and there was no light and so then I looked up and noticed that through one of the little holes the sun was coming through. So. Um, to get the starburst effect, I went up to, I think it was maybe F-22, something like that, to make it pop like that. And then it just, it's just kind of a different picture of the stadium. Obviously, it's going to be shot a thousand different ways, but it was one that I liked. Nice early morning light, popping through and just showing the stadium. For, for all of my action stuff, I've been using the 1D um, Mark IV, and especially for the shorter stuff that's coming right up on you, it's the, the new 70 to 200. And, in all, sincere, in all sincerity, it's, it's really just a tack sharp lens no matter what I want to do with it. And it's, you know, you've got so many things going on at the same time. You've got a 400 up, you've got the 70 to 200 on your lap, you're, you've got a foot pedal that you're firing remote. And so it's, it's nice that you know that you can pull up that 70 to 200, especially for the most important parts. And, and know that it's going to be tack sharp, especially because they're coming right at us. You, you know, we all have a different corner of the, of the field. So when that goal, that one goal does happen, coming straight at us, that's 99% of the time the lens that I'm going to be picking up shooting with the uh, with the Mark IV and that new 70 to 200. It's spot on, which is which is really nice. It's a big step, and uh, really excited about that. For myself, I've kind of loaded in some custom functions that some of the other guys at Getty have all kind of come up with, and that seems to be with what we stick to. Um, but mostly everything is, I would say it's pretty similar to what is already on the camera. I wouldn't think there would be a whole lot that's super different. I think the biggest thing for me is a lot of people will use AV, TV, all these different things and I like to set everything I can manual. Um, no, matter, no matter what it is, I'm, I feel far more in control of the light and what I'm trying to do with the image if I have everything set manually and I think that's, that makes a big difference. The, the 1D Mark IV for me has been great, um, especially the file size and the file quality. Um, I noticed a big jump from the Mark III just in um, the, the color. It really pops a lot more and also with the ISO I'm allowed to go up a little bit further than I, than I would in the past. Um, I'm able to kind of jump a little bit more each time and with each camera that comes out I feel comfortable going to that next level because maybe I've gone to a thousand well that looks like 800 or 640 in the old camera so you can tell that there's a big jump and, I, and I'm you know I love that I love that about it to be honest. Um, Messi as everybody knows is maybe the best player ever right now um, and he's just he's really fun to watch I'd never seen him in person uh, um, for that image I was sitting up in the Tribune um, which was way up high so it was a different angle than we're than normally from some of the other ones where I'm down on the field um, so I took my 400 millimeter lens on the Mark IV as well and stood up there and kind of was shooting a little bit of everything but I paid particular attention to him just because he is their star player and there were quite a few runs that he was making and so as soon as he took off one time, um, 
just started shooting as he following tracking with him. Things happen so quickly and you need to have the right lens and you always kind of feel like you're in between lenses. If it's the 400 or the 7200, you never sometimes feel like you have the right lens in your hand. And uh, so I think just the, the how quick everything happens and knowing that you're really scrunched in with everybody else, it, it just it, it adds another dynamic that people don't think about. And as well as like the travel, tomorrow morning I'm getting up at 4.30 a.m. for a 1.30 match. I'll be traveling in a bus coach for four or five hours, shoot the game and then come back. So there's so much more that goes into it than a lot of people see. They just see the, oh, you're down at the game, you're shooting the game. And by, honestly, that's almost the, the easiest part of it because it's when you feel you're most in your comfort zone as a photographer.